take a look at this headline. It says, Jay-Z new comedy movie stumbles at box office, earns back just a fraction of 40 million budget. And I showed you on a prior video how Jay-Z and Lakeith Stanfield literally made a joke out of the word of God. Now we know biblically that John the Baptist baptized Jesus at the Jordan River. But in this blasphemous movie, John the Baptist is pictured as slapping Jesus at the Jordan River. But you mean to tell me he made a Christian movie to glorify the Most High, a man who calls himself Jehovah. He also said, Hail Mary to the city. You are virgin and Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. And he has deceived people to the point that there's a library in Brooklyn that spreads his gospel, which is taught in his book called The Book of Hove. They also feature in this library a sculpture of his occultic hand symbol. This is idolatry. And people are gathering here to pay homage to Jay-Z. See, this has been the adversary plan the whole time. Matter of fact, it goes back to the Garden of Eden. When he told Eve, if you eat of this tree, you shall not surely what? You shall not surely die, but you shall become as gods. In other words, the adversary was saying, I'm going to elevate you so high in my kingdom that people are going to bow down and worship you as a god. This explains why Jay-Z calls himself Jehovah. It's because he wants to be worshipped like the most high God. See, when we refuse to participate in the unfruitful works of darkness, they are fail every time. So let's continue to take a stand for the most high by not supporting people who mocks our Lord and Savior. I'm so glad this movie failed at the box office. Let's stop giving our money to these people. Let's stop going to their concerts. Let's hit them in their pockets. If they going against our savior, we're not going to stand for it. We're not going to support their movies and we're going to continue to share. We're going to continue to comment. We're going to continue to expose the unfruitful works of darkness. And I'm glad that people eyes are finally coming open to this agenda. We're not falling for this notion any longer that this is just comedy, art, and entertainment. Our Lord is to be worshipped, not to be laughed at, and not to be mocked. So we are taking a stand. We are going to hit their pockets, and we're not going to support the unfruitful works of darkness any longer. Watch and pray. God bless you.